I'm kind of into this game. Explore the world. Well, it's our world technically, but specifically talking about La Mulana. The Mulana. Almost 22 hours into this game. Gosh, this good music. This game is such good music. Ah. So I got some stuff. So, this thing, one, one day, will be useful. It is not right now. Uh, is there anything else? Um, you know... So... I know Lonely House moving is important, along with something else. Maybe Death Village? Death Village plus something else does increase your... Um, invincibility frames. But I don't know which other one. And there's only so many. There's only so many. So much room on this. Eh. Let's just go with this for now. All right. Let's see. I mean, I got I got a bunch of stuff. Lemay's is looking like a uh, like a, a combination of all of his um, Halloween costumes ever. However, I'm still missing a bunch here. I need some backsides. So. Um, there was a thing I wanted to do, and I've completely forgotten what it is. Uh, so I got most of this, let's see. There's a lot of mystery still in, uh, Tower of the Goddess, and a lot of stuff keeps, keeps pointing to the flying machine. Also, there's a, there's a couple of hints at the top that points to left go to left and right, and I have just no clue what that could do, what that could mean at all. So, um... Also, there's some unbreakable walls that have been, like, bugging me. I still do not have the final seal. That would be good to get. Um... It would be cool to get an ocarina at some point. I feel that's gonna open up a ton of stuff. Uh, if I ever get the time thing, that's gonna be cool, because I keep seeing stuff that indicate that, hey, probably there's gonna be something that helps with time. There's a crucifix area. Don't know what that's about. Um, I still have not found anything related to uh, a back of the Endless Corridor, but I haven't really looked hard, have I? I should maybe get, go back into that. Fly with the Golden Wings. Like, this, all this stuff. Um, we cannot grant the Mother's Wish. I need to rebalance the spirits also. If I am all-knowing. Hmm. If I find enough tablets, I'll be able to translate the old, the old, uh, the old ones. So that's going to be important. Also, there's the mantras. I don't know what the mantras are at all, but the first one is at the entrance of the never-ending corridor, so maybe there's something to that. Hi, folks. Okay, uh, once I'm done with La Mulana 1, I absolutely want to do some randomizer with you and Author Blues. Absolutely. I will, of course, eventually, I would love to do some, uh, some rando. I mean, so La Mulana too. That is totally a thing I want to play. Also, hey, how much are you willing to bet that the backside door is going to be here? In the very, very conspicuous wall thing here. Could be completely wrong, but you know. 
please. Like, I'm trying to pay more attention to parts of this that, like, stand out. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good in that. when it comes to, like, there's no hidden rooms in this one. What we see is what we get. The rest is maybe there's some stuff that I haven't noticed. Or you, sometimes you just come through an area with a, uh... Like, like maybe, maybe an, a, a side door in one of the other backsides will lead me to the backside of this one. That's something that could happen. Anything below here. Alright, but let's 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 head down. Cause I really haven't explored under here a lot. Kinda did a bunch of this one. Also there's that door in the back here. Kinda conspicuous looking door. Little bit like too short for me, but... And, oh yeah, wasn't there like a... Yeah, there's like a philosopher... A philosopher thing here. If only there was a ladder. But there isn't. Are you done? Okay, I'm gonna move my uh, little chat to be here so I can see it more. Seeing chat more is important. Hi, fairy! What are you today? You are the healing fairy. Thank you, healing fairy. I need you a lot. Hi, I got in trouble again. You know how it is. You know how I am. Right, right, this thing. Right, right, the colorless map, the colorful map. What does this mean? Because I did find maps. Everything here is very colored. Oh, it's just money. Well, thanks, money. Um, together they shall see the truth. But, hmm. Is there any sort of... Yeah, don't jump on the spikes, Xandra. Come on. Um, where have I seen two maps? Or is it... Is, am I being too literal? This map here refer to something else. Oh, 
Oh, each... Really? Does the time of day change? Oh, interesting! The time of day changes, depending on which height you are in. That's cool. That's a neat touch. Yeah. Wonder if that's just mean or if that's actually like, like, saying something. Hello, small horse. Well, more of a regular size horse. Invincible horse. The strongest horse is a horse. It's a little bit smaller than a person. It's a little bit smaller than a person size horse. I really haven't looked very closely at anything here. Well, yep, that's a that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing that's hitting me there. Oh, right, there's a problem. You're getting cut open by giant saw blade. That ain't gonna work. You probably look into not getting cut up by a giant saw blade. Have you have you looked into that? You know. As a solution, as a potential solution, have you considered not getting cut up by the world's biggest saw blade? Now, to be fair, this is kind of hyperbole because there could be bigger saw blades elsewhere. I haven't really looked at it. I figure there's got to be a, some intense logging operation somewhere on another hemisphere that's going to put these to shame. But you know, for all intents and purposes, these will cut you right up. So maybe don't, maybe don't go sitting on them. Is all I'm saying. Oh yeah, the sun's about to set. Do not look at the sun with a magnifying glass. Do not. Please stop doing that. It's a bad idea. Also, what did I say about the giant saw blades? Were you not listening? Honestly. We just had this conversation. It was kind of a one-sided conversation, to be fair. Maybe because I just like hearing myself talk. But you know what? I'm just saying, like, as your personal practitioner of medicine, maybe don't get yourself diced up by giant spinning sharp things of metal. Oh no. Oh no, that's a tiny horse. Dang it. Is this anything? new Dang it, small horse Nope yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I should probably just... I'm gonna go think about what I've done. Yeah, yeah, like, there's endless corridor. Like, someone, someone, dec like, sought out to decorate that place. Like, okay, what speaks endless to me? Just like, alright, everybody, there's no bad ideas. Like, you, Infinity Sign, you got it. We'll plaster them all over. You, repeating cycles of, like, the sun and moon? Heck yeah, let's get in there. Now, according to the, uh, Endless Corridor style guide here, uh... How, how you feel, how do you feel about uh, the number eight and the repetition thereof? Everywhere. Is there something that appeals to you? It should. Just saying it should probably do that. But in case it doesn't. I should really learn to just go left when I get here.
<coughs> I like the Gate of Illusion too. It's a pretty good one. Hey, we got a new fairy friend. Hello, hopping vampires. What's up today? Hey, it's the healing fairy. The healing fairy likes to heal. Maybe don't jump into saw blades again, but away. If you do, the healing fairy's there for you. Ow. Excuse me. Hey, tall horse, giant horse today. Hello, giant horse. Ow. Goodbye, large horse. What the? F How did I avoid that completely every single time before? Thank you for this part, please. All right, bye, fairy. Wow, okay, ow. Okay, first time I guess I just like didn't fall and everything was fine. Yeah, I don't care. Gotta get a refill soon, let's just go. See, I read Pliny the Elder, and in my mind just goes, Pliny the Elder, Lord Palmerston. Pliny the Elder, Lord Palmerston. Percent accurate. Nothing super specific here. This place, though. Oh, I can't even read this. I still really dig that shiny moon. And you have the giant serpent-bodied child building a tower in the background. There we go. Tiny horse. Could you let me down? Thank you. Yeah, I figured the new Rude Teleporter was just something I happened to dodge every single time before and just never noticed. It. 
One day I'll figure out what these things do. out here that I've missed. Hmm. Oh, weird. This one wraps in a weird way. Oh, interesting, interesting. These two parts are actually back-to-back. -back. It's the only... Oh, that's, that's really cool, actually. So, this corridor is the one of the rare ones where you don't actually get to go from one side to the other loop forever. Huh. That's neat. I never really noticed that before. Yeah, each endless corridor. Is, and now we're on the other side. No! Also, I'm just keeping my, my weird scribbled notes here because I think they, they kind of look interesting. All right. And we're at the top of mom. Top of the mom to you. Is there anything hidden? in this general area. Hmm. Emphis Bane is Wedge. Gotta figure I'll be able to do something to these skulls. Ow! Oh. Then to the left, it's like, yeah, okay. I've, I've done a lot of exploration. Okay, so there's the initial one, which is just the long corridor with the flowers and everything. Just basically, hey, come back with the key once you got it. Mystery of Doors. After that, we have the race game. After that, we have the spike nightmare. And after that, we have the eyes. Okay, yes. That's everything. Did I ever get up the room with the lightning in Twin Lab? Sure didn't, because every single time I get close to that door, I get lightning. Um, I, there's an unbreakable wall there that I feel I'm going to need to come back to with uh, something that can break the unbreakable. I still haven't found it. Also, I would like to go back up here, because I think it's been a while since I've been 
in the first area of the mausoleum, and I figure there's gotta be stuff I just had, like, missed way back when. Okay, what about this one? Let's see. Four, 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 four. Yeah, okay. That's okay. This is all the rooms. Oh, there it is. Thou art tiny like a little doll. Yep, I remember. I did the whole Nebra disc thing. What the f- Oh no, oh no, oh no. I gotta reload. Sorry folks, I gotta reload. I forgot, that was the hard mode thing. Reset. Sorry. Yep, nope. Okay. Hey, I got an achievement for it. That's pretty good. All right, let's try this over. <laughs> All right. So I had a pretty fruitless exploration of the endless corridor and trying of the mother. Let's enter through this place. Yeah, no, so... All right, cool, back, let's load, us, let's load our last save. I am sorry, I did not mean to accidentally trip hard mode. All right, trip hard mode. That's, that's a new character. I'll be de debuting in my new book. Anyway. Yeah, okay, okay, you hacked up the randomizer by... Yeah, no, no, okay. Uh, just to be sure, I loaded a previous save, so we're good, right? Uh, you should not... Hard mode should still be off, right? Should be good, okay, good, thank you. Yeah, Baphomet was a big hit. That was a fun boss fight. Oh, hey, wait a second. Right here. This is where the twin snakes meet. That's one of the mantras, isn't it? Recite the mantra correctly. Let us seal. One is in the corridor, the entrance to the never-ending corridor. Two foot of the twins at the tip of the feet that connect the two. This might not be the twins, though. Gosh, this music's good. All right, and then you, you, yep. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna die, so really. Ah!
something mm. there we go entrance to the mausoleum of the giants home of the big folks hello big folks Read that one. Whatever you do, do not read that one. Have I come to see you? Right, yeah, sorry, I was just here in a different timeline before I messed everything up. Where are the Nazca lines? I've heard of this before, and I ain't lying. That is the map of the spring in the sky. And it shows... Is this three... Because, like, the backside of the spring in the sky, presumably, is the Tower of the Goddess. So I wonder if there's, like, multiple towers. Because it would make sense, because... They, there's another thing that says like uh, oh that's right one other thing I wanted to research there we go the hatch left the left hatch for you is this is Left hatch is Verdandi, right hatch is Skull, which means the center... If there are three towers, it means the center tower is or the, uh, I believe... Unless I'm mistaken, uh, I might be, uh, thinking of them differently, but I think one of them is, like, this is, like, the original Mother Maiden and the Crone, so, which means that the Mother and the Crone were the two sides, and the middle one is the Maiden Ord. Ow. Okay. There's something here. Yeah, Mecha. Yeah, Mecha Hell is a tower of ruin. That's a different kind of uh, tower, though. What? <laughs> wow. Zelpa is just so bored now. Maybe I'll need a rug to use inside the tent. Ghosts are frightening. So I beat, I beat the, the mini boss here and I got the weapon.
Oh yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, reminder that there's Automod in chat, and we like to keep our chat, you know, relatively all ages. You know, give or take. We like to keep our chat clean, eh? <laughs> right, I managed to do the thing here where, like, I got this thing to light up. wonder if I do that again if something will happen. Or if it was just like, oh no, that's just a fun thing you do. How do I feel about a microtalk while exploring? Heck yeah! Oh, I should. Right, right, right. Let me let me look at uh my uh, loyalty things. Uh, yeah, it's it should show up on the alerts, but it's not right now, and I'm kind of. I don't know, I, I should troubleshoot that at some point. Because hopefully it should tell me when someone redeems like a microtalk or something. Because that is one of the things you can spend your mice on if you like there's a... In, in the uh, bottom right corner it should be like a little, a little Xandra face and that lets you redeem your points. Wait. This turns the screen on. And now I recognize those those symbols. They're the back side of the back side of the uh, I believe it's the back side. The back side of Chamber of Extinction and the front side of the Gate of Guidance. I have not been to the back side of the Chamber of Extinction yet. I haven't found it. I know it exists. Huh. Yeah, there it is. I just, yep, it just doesn't pop up for some reason. Ooh, okay, Microtalk for Bunny Wild. What's my favorite Metroidvania and why? Okay. Hmm. Gosh, there's a lot, though. There's a lot of these. Um... Gosh, yeah. There's a... <laughs> there's there's a bunch of these. Oh, hey, can folks in chat just list off a few Metroidvanias to get my mind, uh... racing a bit? Just to remind myself of some stuff. Oh gosh, Cave Story is one. Right. I love Ecclesia. I love Ecclesia so much.
Right, Bunny must die, I have that too. So honestly, I'm like a big fan of the Metroid games. It would probably be like a toss-up between uh, Metroid Zero Mission and Cave Story. Cave Story had like a big influence on me. And uh, so yeah, because like Metroidvania is like, there's, it's kind of interesting how the name has like sprung up. Even though it's like, it's really just Metroid games and Castlevania specifically. Like, yeah, ever since uh, Symphony of the Night, it's like, yeah, okay, that's that's the one. But uh, I really, really like that kind of game just because you get to retread a lot of content. And I think that's like, that's a good, uh, I like that. I like just having a good... Um, like, a smart reuse of existing things and rediscovering content that you already know. And I think, like, I really like Zero Mission. Like, okay, first things first, I really like uh, Cave Story because Cave Story at first blush seems very straightforward, but as you play it, like, more than once, or, you, like, you discuss other with other people, you learn that, oh, there's actually a lot more to it than you thought. And the person playing it for the first time, like, doesn't really, un like, uh, get a glimpse of that. Except that the game hints hints at it. For, with stuff like, uh, at some point, you get a choice. Like, oh, do you want do you want this thing? Or, like, and you make a choice regarding which weapon you want. And later on, uh, the game tells you, like, there's someone who tells you, ah, if you've been here with the other choice, then you could have gotten something else for that. Like, oh, suddenly, suddenly the kind of hints that, oh, there's actually more to this game than just the, the straight path you've been following. And I really, really appreciate that. And, like, that kind of subtlety in design is something I really appreciate. It also really like the whole idea that you get a, um, there's a, um, an item you get that lets you progress, but if for some reason you you happened to not get it and skip it through like a very specific thing that was not very evident but that you could totally do, if you skip that then you get a better version later because your, your inaction actually helps someone and I think that's kind of wild. Like someone literally spends their last breath to give you something. And if you never actually interact with them, they, sur they, they actually survive and make a better thing to give you. And I think that's just really, really cool. So that's, that's something I really appreciate. And I just like love Cave Story whole aesthetic. There's like, but there's, there's a lot to it. And I think it's nice. A, it's such gorgeous art. It does, ex it sets out to do a very simple thing and does it. And I really, really appreciate that. But honestly, yeah, okay. Uh, Honestly, I'm like still a huge fan of um, like Metroid Zero Mission because it uh... I like Zero Mission because it embraces because like it's no secret that like um there's sequence breaking. The first Metroid games had like pretty huge sequence breaking, and you could finish that game real quick. And that wasn't uh, like uh, certainly not planned. At least not a lot of it was. And uh, the what I like is that Zero Mission, a reimagining of the first Me Metroid, embraces sequence breaking to the point of actually making it part of the game. And, uh, like, you can just play through that game without a problem and have a lot, a lot of fun. But if you're determined to do this quickly, there you find suddenly there's all these hidden paths built into the game to help accelerate a sequence-breaking run, a speedrun of it, that the regular player usually will not even notice. But, like, it's you once you realize, ah, I'm how can I cut corners? Well, okay, here are some pre-cut corners, which is like... 
not uh, always the best because sometimes you do want like you don't want to uh, do this like yourself it's it's kind of it's kind of more interesting when you add this to the game instead of having the game come with pre-built sequence breaking points but I really appreciate that the devs decided to like make this game accessible in this way by like m making it like planning a specific specific point, set of points where you can break uh, break through what the game has planned. I always found that that was like very, very clever. And also, I love, 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 love uh, Zero Mission, specifically for the final act where you figure, like, you, you understand what the game's about, you beat the game, you get back to your ship, you get a cutscene, and then the game surprises you. Oh, by the way, this is not the ending. There's more to this. And they introduce the whole concept of the Zero Suit and that extra little segment. And it's just like, caught me completely by surprise. And I loved it. I loved it so much. And I feel like that's probably one of my favorite moments in gaming. The time where I like realized that like, oh, there's like a whole other segment and there's suddenly like way more to this game and like the deconstruction of like, ah, you had all your abilities, now you don't. But instead of this being like the start of the game, it's like, no, here you go. Like to to get the ultimate power up, you need to spend a moment depowered. And that's just like, that was really novel at the time. And I just really appreciated it. Yep, so, like, it's a toss-up between these two, because one of them, uh, like, had a lot more content under the hood that it let on, and let players just, like, discover it by themselves. Also, it has the Hell Run, which is so incredible at the end. And, uh, the other one, just because, like, I love Metroid, and Zero Mission is probably the culmination of what I, what I love about it. So yeah, my, my favorite is the tie between Cave Story and Metroid Zero Mission. There's, it's just so good. Thank you, thank you for asking for my thoughts about this specific subject. I just, I love this kind of game a lot. Yes, yeah, slightly rude shopkeepers. There's a lot of those here. Ah. One day I'll figure out how to get to that other place. Yes! Oh my gosh! I've been meaning to draw, to like, draw an inspired take on, like, Samus, like, fused with, uh, Metroid DNA. Ah, there we go. I'm glad! I've been meaning to make a Metroidvania of my own. Well, I'll make a small Metroidvania. And with the focus on speedrunning. And my approach to that would be sort of a little bit of a deconstruction of a genre, but also something that, like, is all about the routing. But that's, that's a ways off if I ever manage to, like, put that together. So where or where could an ocarina be? I've done a lot here. I'm sure there's, like, secrets left, but... Yeah, you dodge. You dodge that platform. Hey, wait a minute. Okay.
All right, Guacamole was interesting, but I'm still a little bit peeved at how they treated, um... Hi, Isis. You're good. Um... a little bit miffed at how they handled uh, letting you play a lady in that one. Oh yeah, Other M, con yeah, from what I hear of Other M, it's like, Nintendo told Team Ninja, hey, don't do these specific things, and then Team Ninja did those specific things. figure out what to do with that statue of the giant. Oh yeah, what's up with Mobra? Today on What's Up with Mobra? Recur this conversation. It's, I, Mulberg is so relatable, just constantly sleeping. to Eden. Left to some left to I think the the graveyard of the giants. Up to Eden. Up to I think the twin labyrinths. And a couple of weird rooms. Tower of the Goddess has a ton of stuff. Yep, Skull's Tower. Sure would be great if I could figure out what the heck these do. Like, to go left, seek that which flies to the left. What does that even mean? I've never had much success with game dev streams, to be honest. Uh, so I wouldn't be a good reference for them. Because I know no game dev can be kind of dry. Though I do like, to be fair, I do like uh, game dev streams. Like, I mean, I've done I've done a few at Giant Bomb, where we just like make games using uh, construct and stuff. That was fun.
So you have this one with the sword, the other one with the katana. And also there's all the hints about the flying machine, which may imply that I should have found it by now. But I super didn't. And there's that room over there on the left that I do not know how to access. Sure! Chill. Scales of the heart. Oh, balancing of the spirits. Maybe. Balancing of the space right here. Oh my gosh, I could just get in here. Right, those are ladders. Oh, and this is- Oh! Orange Tower! Okay, so we have three towers. Orange Tower is in the middle. Hi, Fighting Fairy. Yeah, party time! for a platform here. And that thing goes down real quick. Way faster than I can get there. And I don't have this stairway. Fighting Fairy does her best. I can't quite make that jump. That's a little bit too much for me. If I had the thing, 
If I had some sort of time power, maybe that would help. Or a faster way, I just don't know how, how I could get there that fast, honestly. Sadly, cannot pick up the fairy chakras. Nope. Because there is stuff above here. It, like, starts coming down immediately. I wonder if the timer starts now. It's like there's no time. Even if I could go there. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I can totally come here. Alright. Well, that poses another set of questions, then. What do I do now? I still don't know what to do with the Eye of Truth. Here's Pepper in your Eye of Truth. I have some used items, but, like, don't really do a lot. Not even sure if that, like, technically does anything. Yeah, basically I did the thing. Now what? Now what indeed? There's obviously something here that will make those um, stairs appear. This place is very weird, and as usual, there's no feedback on anything. Also, that statue here that I don't know. Wait, right, the three goddesses. I wonder if the because there's so there's three doors, three goddesses. This is Ord's tower, but there's two goddesses at the top of Skald's tower, and I still can't get up Redondi's tower. Yeah, let's just keep jumping right into those. So there's these weird indentations. Shine upon it with the eye of truth. Wonder if the eye of truth is just an item I'm gonna find at some point, and that's gonna be like, oh, suddenly it makes a lot more sense. The eye of truth is just like a thing I've, I've, I want, I've, I've needed to have. Yeah, these like these these little holes here. Oh. Hello. There we go. Every time I've been trying to hit that, I would hit the statue. Okay. All right, software. Uh, let's see, which one did I want? We want the snapshot launcher. All right. Um... Okay. A 
A lone snake stands amongst spikes. It is the snake that protects enchanted words. It protects the enchanted words hidden by the giant. That is important. I seen spikes. Where have I seen snakes and a lot of spikes? What are snakes? I know there's snake people in the Chamber of Extinction. Where have I seen a single snake? in a lot of spikes. Hey, hi, Alkia. We, um... We're trying to figure out some stuff. We just got this. That is, that was, this information was very hidden, which kind of implies it's important. A lonely snake that stands on a spike. Don't think I've seen a lot of spikes here. Spike. Also, there's that door here that is not on the map and that I can't access. Nothing above for me to fall into. Or is there? Also, this seems important. Who is Anunnaki? Is... It's none of the giants. Should have seen you should have seen Anunnaki. Oh my gosh. Can I fall into this from the red door room? seen snakes and spikes. Is 
here. No snakes here. But there's still a lot of secrets in this room. I mean, this area. Yeah, just jump into those spikes. That's, a, that's the idea. That's the ticket. So there's that that thing there that I don't know what to do with. Uh, okay, so. Search my notes. can't actually search on my phone. Uh, let's see. Did not write down Anunnaki anywhere. Uh, I don't remember seeing the name Anunnaki elsewhere. I literally had to Google Anunnaki to figure out what pantheon they're from. Oh yeah, no, the other ones. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like... Oh wait, is Anunnaki like a people? Is it like not a person, but rather like a, a concept? Hey, Hell Fairy, hello!
Reboot is pointing at a thing. Absolutely. I know. I know. I know where Reboot is. I know exactly which room it is. I'm not sure I found any. I ever found anything there though. Bye, fairy. Thank you, fairy. Probably not here. Is that Shrine of the Mother? Are there snakes in there? Because I know there's a bunch of spikes there. This does point to Mausoleum of the Giants, though, and we do need to go see Rebu, so... Let's go say hi to Rebu. pretty hard. Standing on your finger. Do I have the right person? <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, totally. We fought Rebu. We fought Sakit right next to where Rebu is. Should have taken a picture of that thing, because I just forgot the details now.
Yeah, you know what? Let's just take another look at it. <clears throat> I'll save it this time. Thankfully, this trip is pretty quick. Fighting fairy. She likes to fight. Bye, everybody. Sometimes I just hate how this game controls so much. Fly with the golden wings. Gosh, I sure would love to. One day. Oh my gosh, stop it. There we go. Argus. All right. Different person. Do you know who the heck Anunnaki is? That's kind of useful, actually, but I already did that. Alright, I'm gonna look it up.
Anunnaki are a group of deities that appear in the mythological traditions of the ancient Sumerians. Oh, interesting. I know, but I can just look up Wikipedia sometimes if I'm curious. Gosh, this really is the inverse of the tower, isn't it? Uh, this is not new. I've been here too many times. Why am I even here, actually? Yeah, this is freaking this guy. Is I'm not even sure I'm supposed to be doing anything. I know that Ribu points somewhere. It says Ribu like carries the water to the tower, the place where the finger points. Are they talking about Ribu pointing at all? I and mean, Anunnaki refused to, to look at. There's like nothing of this sort here at all. Is it referring to like the place in, in the. Tower of the Goddess. Also, it's just like, there's no lake here, there's no water here at all. I mean, there's water at the very bottom. Also, this is La Mulana. It is hard to tell whether something is a genuine hint or just, hey, it's just, here's just words on a page. You know what's fun to write? Words. I'm like, this is like, kinda. There's water in it. Oh, wow, once you get the, oh, oh interesting. Let's just do something else, because it's just like... I probably shouldn't be focusing on any one thing, because I'm just going to get frustrated, because this game is just so incredibly obtuse about everything. There's another seal that would be great to find. I just got also a very important hint regarding spikes and snakes. Is that here? I remember there's a bunch of spikes here. Don't remember seeing any snakes though. There's snakes in the, um, hi. There's 
snakes in the, uh, the whatever place. The extinction, but there's not, they're not really snakes so much as snake people, but I don't know if a tablet would make that kind of distinction. Also, it kind of galls me that, like, I have 20% of, like, they specifically say, hey, there's, like, once you find, like, enough, um, what's this chest here? Once you find enough of, uh, tablets with both things written on them, you'll be able to decipher, decipher them. And I found exactly one of them, and there's supposed to be five, which is a little bit just, like, I've read everything I could, but I guess does that is, that is absolutely not enough. There's a bunch of spikes. Bye, fairy. No snake, though. Nope, well. That's a snake. And a bunch of spikes. That's that's a that's tenuous at best. That's the I'm gonna kill you spot right over there. Alright, well <sighs> these snakes in the in the ice uh in the ice graveyard? I don't think so. Did that. No real spikes here, at least no snakes, I don't think. Not really a lot of spikes here, more like just stuff that kills you. Uh, don't recall seeing that many snakes or... Are there snakes in the Twins Labyrinth? Think so? Oh, there's crocodiles. Right, right, crocodiles. There's likely still a bunch of stuff I haven't figured out here. But I have looked at pretty much all the exits. Couple of mystery rooms. There's that weird room with the unbreakable block that just really doesn't like me. Somehow the only room that only room that like doesn't uh, that, that where the lightning actually hits me when I get close to something no other room in the game does this that I've seen only that one somehow why is this eye here oh was there something did I reveal something in this room earlier and I just forgot about it
Do those doors count? Like, is it showing these doors here? Oh. Huh. So a room that, sh that shows a door, but there's no door, and a room that doesn't show a door, but there is a door. Brother shop. Right. This is little brother and this big brother. My one brick brother shop. So big brother shop should be here. Oh. I had to buy something from little brother. There's a dragon bone. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I've been meaning to get this. Hey, we found a super extremely important thing. Thanks for catching that, Aura. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, hi. Would you like to buy the plot? Let me chill! There we go. No more bones. That was important. That was incredibly important. That was the most important thing. All this time, well... That is so random. Thanks, Aura. Really appreciate it. That was so incredibly random. Hello, hi, what's up? Bye. Could you be more random? Yeah, big nice cup of bones be gone. There we go. <laughs> I just can't believe. All right, sure. That was so important, and I could have had that forever. Just literally, just like, if Aura hadn't, like, noticed the fact that the door was missing. It's a good thing I remember that thing about Big Brother and Little Brother's shop. Hey, you sad ghost, could you, like... No sad ghosts here. Oh, go to hell. Hey! Can you even, like, get them all?
finally. <sighs> All right. The land watched over by eight spirits. Okay. Oh, huh. Nope. All right, there's a philosopher sign right here. Can I get to this room? Colorless and colorful map together, so I'll see everything. Is one side of the twins' labyrinth colorless and the other colorful? I thought they both had a lot of color. Professor La Mesa, the worst jumper in all of humankind. Never has there been a lesser jumper than Professor La Mesa. This looks important. Probably needs the, the time thing for this one. Yeah, I'm not that fast. Also, the chest is closed. Alright. Let's go heal up. And... Keep trying, because there's other stuff. Yeah, those bones were blocking a ton of things, so... Only uh, a little bit aggravating that, uh, so far, this has yielded a zero. Oh, yeah, I'll go show the Dragon Bones to Zelfud. He's 
gone. He left. Did you know this, Ara? Yep, no, he just, all right. He's just, he just left. All right, cool. Just wanna know if he's here. <laughs> Where could Zelpa be now? Yeah, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a few glowy snake statues. Oh, speaking of snakes. Something keeps falling in my kitchen. <laughs> talking about. Oh. I honestly literally thought he was, he meant the chest I'd just seen, but of course not.
But I did, I did see it. Yeah, I thought that was in reference to the chest with the glowy aura. Oh no, we, we, of course we don't, but... That's about Try to read that one. Hmm. Did not read that one. <laughs> Dogs are pet smart. Oh right, I read that one and then I got killed. It'd be great to be able to get up here, but... Hey! Uh, pretty much doing random things at this point. Can't get up there. There's a weird door here that I'm not quite sure what it does.
<laughs> yeah. Found this luggage tag. Anybody, anybody found my luggage tag? Anyway, let's just go back there, I guess. Anything on this side? Hello. Any skulls blocking the way here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's that chest here, but it seems that like every single uh, wedge, almost, has a ch no. That's right. Not all of them have a have a chest like that. So I already went up there. Any bosses killed? Yeah, a bunch, actually. Uh, I have not found... Okay. Beat M... Uh, Amphi... I forget. Amphi Saiyan? Something. Uh... I beat Sakrit, I beat Elmac, uh, I beat Bahamut, I beat Vi. Have not seen the bosses here at all. Don't even know. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, uh, Twin Labyrinths. I beat, um, what's her name? You know, the devil. Baphomet. So there's uh, there's a few. It is extremely La Mulana that I got, I was looking for a thing for a while, I finally found it, and it, at first blush, appears to unlock a ton of stuff, but in the end, it unlocks nothing at all. Pod, what are you doing? Buddy, what are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, you found a diary. Are you okay? Oh, you're just panicking as spoiler chat because you know about okay. You okay? Are you gonna be fine? Like, are you gone? Like, okay. He's cool. It's fine.
No, he's okay. I'm an invincible old man. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> oh, jeez. They're literally the seven children of the mother. Speaking of mother, hi, hi, mom. Mom's in chat. Yeah, we're we're learning about another type of mother in this in this game. Woo! <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. I would like to record this conversation. Mother's crystallized spirit, the secret treasure of life. Yeah, yeah, okay, I read about that. Oh, sorry. Can open cursed treasure chest, hence the one, okay. Definitely cursed. <laughs> okay, hey, this is a lot. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. <laughs> a very wet shopping spree. A sopping spree. <laughs> That's a good emote. <laughs> Chisel into the shape of a skull. Use with the item button to unlock a seal in a certain place. Okay. Unstoppable Grandpa.
Um, we're going off the map, folks. Hey, there's the, the, a place called the Dimensional Corridor. Look at the infinity symbols. Whoa, it just dumps you in here. Wow, all right. Guess I'll go back. Interesting that that backside door had no sign on it, and I wonder, wonder what that means. Oh, hey, there it is. Totally didn't see it. Behold the dimensional corridor, the closed off space created by Tiamat. Oh, okay. That's why the, uh, yeah, the endless corridor doesn't follow the rules because Tiamat's place is in the backside. Remember this place from the original and you hate it so much. Okay, well, I guess I'm in for a tree. Ah, hello. We got a mermaid rocker. You did it. Great job. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the sub. So that was a boss just for fun. Okay. Cool. I'm just so happy to have a new place to explore. To the one who dares. Yeah, you unlock, you can exit the room. I'm just so happy to have new places to explore finally. Thank you for noticing that door was missing, Aura. To the one who dares challenge Tiamat. If you survive, I will give you an opportunity. An opportunity to obtain the secret treasure that slipped through your fingers. I shall await thee beyond the boundaries of time. 
Did I miss a secret treasure at some point? Was there an open chest? Hmm. All right. Oh, cool, another one of these. Nice. Nice boss. That was fun. Simple, straightforward. What's not to love? Hello. Found one. Okay, so I'm, I'm... Was I supposed to actually do something with the philosophers? Because, like, they're still kind of stoned out of their gourd. Oh, philosopher of life is here. I should write that down. save also. Oh, interesting. I can't actually use the Holy Grail here. That's so neat. Oh, geez. If you fall in here. Oh, that's... Oh, we just... Hey, we, 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 just, we just did this. I think you missed it. We were... We just did this. But you have to, like, every time? All right. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, this is going to be real bad, especially if you, like, spawn on me directly. That's, like, kind of unfortunate. Hey, we just... Oh yeah, no, this place is terrible. Wow. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a message. This might actually be a good time for me to stop. No, I absolutely make a hard save. Like, yeah, no, of course. Oh, uh, Karan, please don't use that that term. I really don't like that expression and the places where it comes from. Nothing against you. I'm just saying, like, eh. I don't specifically like that one. Amber says hi, but Amber is currently taking a shower. He's okay. No, uh, actually, there's no way to delete it. Don't worry about it. The only way to delete it is to, like, um... Yeah. 
delete everything you've ever said today, so... It's fine. Scorpion Lady! Hi, Scorpion Lady! I can't actually get anything. Alright. Oh, yeah, I could've. It's me. It's me. I've just gotten up here, but I didn't. There we go. Oh, now you have to fight. Oh, maybe not. No, sure, you absolutely do, because that... I hate this game. This game is bad. It's a terrible game. It should not have been made. It does really cool things, and then it takes away all of its, like, goodness by doing extremely terrible things to the player. Are you gonna come back out, buddy? Are we doing this or not? Could I please jump high enough to get back on the platform? Okay, uh, could anyone tell me how you jump out of water? Because I've tried a dozen different things and they never seem to like have any sort of consistent result. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And I don't know how to like... I hold a button, I tap, I like just... I'm trying... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Jump higher if you don't jump out under the waterfalls. Okay, good to know.
Alright. Made some progress. This is terrible. Why would you inflict that on players? <laughs> yeah, what if there wasn't? What if there wasn't actually this terrible place? Oh, I'll be right back. While I'm gone, Aura, uh, please entertain folks. And back. <laughs> Thank you, Ara. Get back there, we go here. And then we waste some time, because this game is, has the worst platforming physics I've ever seen. No, I played Brian the Lion. But this game's... 
feels to me like this game has like the platforming of this game could be so much better if they hadn't like made everything if they had built their entire system around a gotcha moment of pitfall traps if somehow they hadn't like decided if this hadn't been such like a core like if they and, and only like settled on something else like if a trap opens up under you you get stunned and you fall directly down like but you retain some sort of like control it's like you can do that that's fine you can do that just fine a little bit but like they just they stick so doggedly to their whole idea that no no once you fall down there's nothing you can do until you hit the bottom and then the level design punishes you so severely and so constantly for it that it turns like everyday everyday navigation into a chore that really i think works against it Oh, no, no, it's not about being floaty or floaty enough. It's the fact that if you step off of a platform, you fall directly down and there's nothing you can do to change that. There's literally zero way to avoid, to, to do any sort of adjustment. You just fall straight down until you hit something. Okay. Gosh, it's gonna be great once I can translate these. Alright, then going left is bad time, right? Or does that take me above... Oh, that's a new one! Is that the clay statue? Oh, hello! Hi, Fox! What's up, buddy? You gonna shoot some bad stuff at You sure are! Sorry, I'm just excited by the, the clay statue here because I keep hearing back about like that clay statue that maybe has the flying machine and everything. Hello? Gosh, that's a curious oh, but there's a thing here. Can I get can I get thing? May I please have a thing? Oh. Guess not. I assume something else I do is gonna unlock this. Marduk's room. That rings a bell. weapon in Marduk's room. No, that's Mulbrock. Yeah, Marduk is Sumerian myth. I've seen Marduk used in uh, different places before. Is it a boss? It's a giant spore ball. Oh, it's a worm? Yeah, 
Yep, more worms. That's a lot of worms. I just want to point out, I have armor that reduces damage by half. Hey, let's redo all of that. Okay, the worms travel on static paths. Yeah, no, absolutely! Have the walls shoot at me! Why not? Why not? While we're here. You wanna drop some, like, set some spikes up, like, from the ground, have some lightning from the ceiling, go nuts! What? What do you want? Welcome to the inverted keyhole. Yeah, that's not happening. I guess at some point I get to fly. Alright. 
<laughs> yeah, like, hey, by the way, this is a Boshi game. Surprise! <laughs> I flying the alien thing. It even hits you! It always hits you. That's it for uh, La Moana, because if I don't stop now, I'm going to break something, and that's not good for anybody. So maybe I'll finish this game. I don't know. Uh, I certainly need some time to cool down, because, yeah, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> like, they now, now the game is literally just, like, sending, yeah, boss after boss after boss with no save or anything, and with no clear way to avoid taking damage and that like or with the worms just like instant like i don't see how you would defeat the worms without foreknowledge of where they go and don't go and that flying alien with the tornado you can't avoid i even try like getting under him seeing if that would like make them like uh, not spawn the tornado if I can get behind him before the tornado spawns, but nope, the tornado just spawns on you and then hurts you twice. It's just like, this is just bad. I'm really invested in this game. I like it. I want to keep playing, but yeah, no, this, this, this is just, this is just rude. So I need, I need to cool off, like, because otherwise I'm just going to turn into angry Xandra and even more so than before, and that's not good. So... Uh, the thing, oh, the thing, though, see your sky is that uh, this is all I got. The other thing I can try is I have a hundred different bits of puzzles that I don't know. I don't quite know which ones I've uh, solved and which ones I haven't. And I have almost full health. I have, uh, I have armor. I have a bunch of sub weapons. I'm not quite sure what else I need to be able to survive this zone. Like, I'm kind of at a loss. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill, do something else, and see, see when I, uh, when I come back to this. But, oof. I need, I need, I need to chill. So hey, uh, for budding, uh, budding, yeah, for budding game developers in the room, here's now you saw a bunch of stuff you shouldn't do. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna gonna relax and um, probably play some more groove because I love me some more groove. It's like really good. It's really into that. But yeah. <laughs> No, budding game developers. <laughs> budding 
game developers. Xanderbot doesn't know what budding is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Web Captioner. It's rad. And webcaptioner.com. There we go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this, this game, like, this game has some really good stuff in it. I love it, but it just, a lot of the time, it surprises it surprises me with ways in which it, it really doesn't love me back, and that's just, like, harsh. So... I'm gonna take a step back, because I think it's the healthy thing to do right now. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for bearing with me, and just thank you for, like, just being a part of this, and it's great, and I would not be streaming if not for you. You, you make things just a lot better just by being here so thank you for the bits for the cheers for the subs for everything just for being here even if you talk or not in the chat it's fine i just i really appreciate your presence <sighs> so yeah in the meantime have a good rest of the day have a good sunday oh uh, thank you so much silver street i really appreciate it mm. there's good times ahead but sometimes you got to realize you know maybe i'm getting to a bad place so i'm going to take care of myself so be sure to take care of yourself too, because you're because deser you deserve it, and you're worth it. Mm, let's keep making wonderful things together. Bye bye.